Hello world, this is Dr. Ken again. This is March 5th, 2023. This is what I'm doing. I guess I'm making videos today. So um, I crossed the bridge, the Mighty Mac, and over here on Highway 2, I'm on a pull out, a scenic view. And uh, I gotta tell you, the minute I cross that bridge, I, I my breathing slows down, the tension in my shoulders goes away, there's just this feeling of, of freedom and liberty and just be yourself up here. Um, you know, I stopped at McDonald's to get a coffee, but the line was like half a mile long. I mean, it was a long line in there. And the pasty shops are crowded. Michiganders love to be outside. I mean, I'm just, I love, the, I love Michigan. I love Michiganders, you know. It doesn't matter what the weather is like. Now, it's a sunny day out today. It's nice. It's 41. It's beautiful. Uh, you can see it's sunny. And uh, there's places to run in the grass, and there's, you know, snow along the periphery. But Michiganders will find any reason to get outside. And um, so the bridge, the Mighty Mac, is right beyond me. Behind me, I should say. See, it's right there. Hope you, hope you can see that. And... Uh, So, I'm walking out here now, and this is a lookout point, so of course it's a beautiful area. And the elevation drops precipitously down to the coast here. I mean, I'm real close to the water. There's some houses down there, eh? Some houses. But um, a lot of people around here, it's not isolated. You drop right down, you're at, you're at level with um, Lake Michigan, I guess, closer to Lake Michigan. And uh, people make these idiotic comments about northern Michigan and the UP. Oh, it's a no man's land. They're in the middle of nowhere, eh? In the middle of nowhere. Have you been out here? Look at the traffic. Um, the restaurants are full. The coffee shops were full at Mackinac City. But now I'm, in, I'm across the, the bridge. Um, there's no shortage of people out here. High-speed internet. You're not lacking any any part of modernity whatsoever, save perhaps an opera house or a symphony orchestra, which I don't want to go to anyway. Um, but you can see the forest there in the background, right? See the forest? It's really thick down there. And um, I've been down there to the water. It's really gorgeous. Uh, all summer long, I was going down there to meditate, you know, to pray and stuff like that. I feel better near the water. And there's no shortage of water in this state. So anyway, yeah, this is now... If I go deeper up north in the UP up here, I'm in the UP right now, it's going to become no man's land. <laughs> because, as you may know, only 3% of the population of Michigan live in the UP. Only 3%. So the UP is quite isolated. Um, you know, plenty of bears and stuff like that. But here I'm hugging the Mackinac Straits. So I'm in St. Ignace. I'm actually I'm west of St. Ignace. And so I'm going to see lots of people here, lots of activity. Um, if I continue west, it's going to get um, less populated. And the people who live in St. Ignace actually go to the beaches in the summer I asked them hey where do you go go swimming to the beach because St. Ignace is basically um, a marina that faces the Mackinac City they said no we just head west on highway 2 and then we get to the beaches you'll see them so I'm gonna go down there a bit and make another video I don't know what these beaches are called there's some dunes and um, I've been there in the summer in June and July this year we'll see what they look like in March and um, I went swimming out there in the Straits uh, this past summer. So we'll take you down there now. And I'm trying to capture the angle here. This is truly God's country. And I'll see you in a couple minutes here. Where is the button? I can never find the button to turn off the video in the sunlight.